my living room renovation is finally complete. This was a huge undertaking, a gigantic job, but I'm so proud of the way it turned out. I'm going to spill the beans in this video and tell you how I designed the room. Did it turn out the way that I wanted? Where did I get everything? And if you want to copy anything that I've done, then you can go and do so. So let's get into this living room renovation and makeover. So hey everybody, if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome, my name is Renee, and I just did a complete living room remodel. It was more than a remodel, it was a huge renovation, in fact. But if you've been on my channel for a while, you know that my living room used to look like this. We've lived in this house for 22 years, Nothing about this living room has changed in the last about 17 or 18 years. We did get a new couch. But otherwise, it has been the same furniture, the same decor, the same carpet, the same old, same old. And I was just tired of it. It all started off with this one image that I saw on Pinterest with the fireplace and the painted brick and the cabinetry and the shelves. So first off is the focal point of the room. It is our brick fireplace and chimney. I don't really know what to call it. It's not a chimney because this is an electric fireplace insert. There is no chimney required. You don't have to have exhaust. It actually just plugs into the wall. You operate it with this remote control. It puts off a little bit of heat, but it is not meant to heat your room. It really is just ambiance, just decoration, but we really wanted a fireplace. This was the best looking one that we found that was under a thousand dollars. And believe me, I looked everywhere but it is so realistic looking and it was affordable. And then from there, I knew that I wanted brick. The brick is super thin. It's not a traditional brick like this and it comes on sheets. So our carpenter was able to pull out a sheet of brick facing, attach it to the sheetrock, and then once the entire length of the chimney got bricked, then he went in by hand and put in the mortar. I wanted the color of the mortar to match the color on the wall. So the color of our walls, which is Benjamin Moore Revere Pewter, kind of carries around the room from the walls, in between the bookshelves, across the room in the mortar and comes out the other side. And of course, my concern in this room was the look. I wanted the built-in cabinetry with the shelves, but what do you think my husband's concern was? It was this. It was the TV and the sound bar. <laughs> we had lots of conversations, I'm not even gonna lie, about the television and the sound. He wanted a larger TV. And now that it's all said and done, He's right, our old TV would have been too small. This is actually a 65 inch Samsung television and the sound bar right here, I gotta say, I fought him really hard on the sound bar because it was not cheap. It really is awesome. There's one bar, one bar, that's it. There are no speakers anywhere else in the room. And the other day we were watching a movie and a helicopter was landing and I could hear the sound around me. It was behind me, it was on top of me, it was crazy good. Where are the cords? You see no cords for the TV or for the sound bar. And that is because this brick chimney is just a shell. Our carpenter built a wood frame that protruded out from the wall. It went all the way up to the ceilings, two stories high. And then within that frame, we were able to get in there and stand up. It's just like building a box. We ran the electricity into the wall. So behind that television is actually a square box where we mounted the television mount. And so all of the wires and the electricity and everything you needed for the TV and the sound bar came through that hole. And so they're completely hidden now that the TV and sound bar are hung. And it is fantastic. This was one of the best planning ahead moments we have ever had. But then what about electricity in my cabinetry? And the electrical plug is actually inside the cabinet. So this is the exact look that I wanted for our living room. I wanted a base cabinet with the top on it and I wanted it to match the shelves. So we bought the bottom cabinets at Lowe's. They're stock cabinets. You just walk into Lowe's in their kitchen section and then our carpenter actually did custom build the top for the cabinet and the two floating shelves. 
And then there is the brand new floor. So throughout our entire house, about 10 years ago, we put down luxury vinyl tile. It's actually luxury vinyl planks that look like real hardwood. It feels like real wood, it looks like real wood, but you don't have the maintenance of real wood. Dogs cannot scratch it with their toenails and it cleans so easily and it is beautiful. It gave this room such a calming vibe, but I knew that I didn't want hardwood all over the room. I didn't want it exposed, so I needed a rug. And it really works well with the room. The gray tones in the rug play off of the gray in our walls and the gray in the mortar, and it looks beautiful in this room. And there's lighting. I knew in this room I wanted gold accents everywhere on everything. I really wanted to play up gold and not silver. So I chose this beautiful gold chandelier. It's light and airy, yet elegant and beautiful and really worked well with the look of the living room. So when I was designing this room, I knew that I wanted to pick up pops of gold. I wanted gold accents. I ordered a bunch of different pulls and the minute I got them out of the box, I knew the one that I wanted. This one is thick, it is heavy, it is beautiful in gold. And when you put your hand in it, it is not hollow or concave on the backside, which is something I cannot stand. So these are six inch cabinet pulls. They're substantial. They look great on the cabinetry. And this was really a find on Amazon. So now in the renovation, the wall was complete. The brick was on, the cabinetry was up, the mantle was built, the floors were down, and I finally got to decorate. This coffee table looks so good in our space. It has a walnut top with the gold frame at the bottom. It's sort of modern, yet not really modern. And then I'm like, well, how am I gonna style this coffee table? So I knew I wanted a tray and I wanted a very low but full plant. So the tray is really all I need to spruce up the coffee table. I think adding too much would just kind of fill in the space too much and I don't really want to do that. I like it open. So this is the little nook corner of the living room that you probably never see. The kitchen's behind me when you come down from the kitchen to head outside. This was a little blank corner. This little area is so small but I was walking through home goods and saw this adorable little table and instantly I knew it was perfect. So I went to Hobby Lobby, they have a huge section of handles and knobs and found these two little glass ball handles with gold edging, came home, popped them on this table and oh my gosh, I fell in love. I adore this little nook now. This nook that was boring and empty really now is so cute and adorable. And then we got to this corner. I was like, what am I gonna put in this corner? This is a seven foot olive tree. Again, I found it on Amazon. It filled up the space beautifully, gave me the look that I wanted for not a lot of money. And so the olive tree was the answer. And over the couch, we have two huge mirrors. These have been hanging on the wall for at least 10 years. And I do really like the mirrors, they're just, not the right color tone. So I have recently purchased something that I'm gonna try to paint and change the color of the mirrors myself. I'll let you know how that turns out. That's gonna be a project for another weekend. But for now, these mirrors are here to stay. So we have a gigantic leather sectional in this living room. I bought it a year ago. You can see Maxi asleep on the couch. We have to put this little blanket on the couch because he slides right off in the floor because the leather is a little slippery. I got new pillows for the couch. I wanted to change the vibe of the couch. Went to Home Goods. They have the best pillow selection ever. I found coordinating pillows and have them in various sections of the couch to try to break up that dark, heavy tone and the leather. So for these shelves, I actually had the majority of these things. The botanical prints on the top shelf were actually mine. They were hanging in my dining room and I knew that I wanted something black on this side of the room. I did buy this basket at Hobby Lobby. This little plant of greenery was mine. I found that little lamp at Home Goods 
and when I got it home, it was just a little bit too short, so I elevated it on two of my own cookbooks. I also found this adorable wooden tray at Home Goods. The cow was mine. It was a souvenir from a trip. The white wooden chains I got at Hobby Lobby. The picture frame I got at Home Goods, and then put a picture of me and my husband in it. This white tin decorative piece was in my bedroom. I just moved it in here. The basket came from my dining room. It was my piece. I bought two very plain gold frames and took pictures of my daughters, had them printed, and then just put them in the gold frames. The candle holders and the LED candles are actually from Hobby Lobby. This black vase and tulips was mine. It was in my kitchen at one point. The little box with the tassel came from Hobby Lobby, and then the big wooden thing in the middle was mine. It used to be in this living room years ago. It just seemed outdated, so I took it down. I had it in the attic. We were in here decorating, and I thought, you know what? Those pictures may just work. When I got them down here, the wooden part of the pictures had a very orange color to it. It just wasn't right. I took a little paintbrush and dabbed it with a little bit of paint from our walls and brushed it on the top of the wood and it really toned down that orange color but left enough of the crusty, rusty, see-through stuff underneath I thought it looked really good. I'm actually really proud of myself for that because I used something I had. Actually, it's a set of two. The other one's in my dining room where the botanical prints used to hang. So I, I'm just really proud of myself for using things around my home, repurposing them. So in total, all I bought for this room were two gold frames, a box, a tray, a lamp, and a basket. Five things that you see in all of these shelves. So that's my living room renovation, my remodel, my makeover. And I have to say, I am thrilled with the way that it turned out. It looks exactly like I imagined, exactly like I designed it. And actually, I think it looks better than I designed it. The colors play well together, the feel of the room. The room now feels massive. The room feels like the room that it was intended to be. If you want information on any of the items in our living room, the links will be in the description box below, along with the size and color and all the details of what you see in my living room. So thanks for joining me. I'm happy to show off my newly renovated living room, and I think it's time for me to go sit with Maxie on the couch and chill. See you later.